Hey there, Bulldog Country. This week, we're talking with Superior Wisconsin native Brandon Meyer on the men's basketball team, getting to know him a little bit better as a Bulldog, and then talking about the 2017-18 basketball season. For UMD, take another look at it. Sarah Kelly put it home, a freshman. Two and two all five. He's a big young boy. Here's a chance in front. They score! Corey flipped it in there. I a follow went to the net. They combined to get Minnesota. Hello, my name is Brandon Meyer. I'm a sophomore here and I play for the basketball team. I'm from Superior, Wisconsin, and I'm going to major in marketing. All right, Brandon, to start out, how long have you been around the game of basketball, and when did you know that you wanted to pursue kind of a career in basketball? Um, I grew up with basketball ever since I was little. My parents um, both played, they didn't go to like, they didn't play in like college, but they both just loved sports, and um, so I knew, I started playing when I was like four and just kind of never stopped since then. And you are a native of Superior, Wisconsin, and you played basketball there in high school. You had a major growth spurt your sophomore year of high school. And how have you adjusted your skill set over that time period of sophomore year of high school to sophomore year of college? The biggest thing was um, like neither my parents and I don't really have a tall family, so I always assumed that I'd be like a one or a two guard. So when I grew, like six inches or something crazy like that. It was um, a lot more of off ball practicing because I wouldn't be bringing the ball up anymore. And I think that was probably the biggest adjustment of my growth spurt. And as a local in the Northland, what led to your decision to play at UMD versus somewhere further away? Um, having family and uh, all my friends around here to support was huge and um, just at any time I could go home and just kind of see them, that was definitely probably the difference maker in staying close. And last year your season was cut short due to an injury and you came back <coughs> determined this season to kind of prove yourself and what motivated you to come back this year better than ever before really? Yeah, um, last year the injury kind of sucked because um, you never want to get hurt and <clears throat> have to watch but it was definitely kind of helpful because I was, like watching from the sideline you kind of get a different perspective and it kind of allowed me to see the spots where I could uh, like help the team out more. So. And you were named the NSIC North Division Player of the Week twice so far um, this season. When you won the award the first time you had a collegiate high 32 points in a game and that was your uh, second back-to-back 30-point -back performance of the season. Um, no one has done that for the Bulldogs since Ryan Rasmussen of the 2011-2012 team. How does it feel to kind of receive the honor of Player of the Week more than once and set that record? Um, it's extremely humbling and it goes to show um, how my teammates and my coaches have, how they believe in me. Um, and I think it just is rewarding because of all the hard work that I like to put in and um, seeing it all pay off is just, like I said, humbling. And teams in the NSIC have been taking notice of how well you've been doing this season, averaging 20 points or more a game. Um, how have you adjusted to your play as more teams have been scouting you and kind of trying to hinder your performance on the court? Yeah, <clears throat> the biggest adjustment is I'm seeing a lot more like double teams now and you, like, you see that they're putting their best player on me and stuff, so I think the biggest change is just um, not like getting the ball less but trying to run the offense more through me and getting my teammates open. Has there been any opponent so far this season that really sticks out that has tested you the most? Um, yeah, Augustana was kind of tough because they um, did a box in one which means that they have one person face guarding you while the other four, four people play a zone. And um, I haven't seen that since high school, so that was kind of, a, kind of a shock and definitely tough to deal with. And looking forward, your team has the next five games at home. How important 
is it to have these next five games at home and have that kind of energy to set the tone for the rest of the season as that kind of winds down? Yeah, at the beginning of the year, it seemed like every game we were playing was away. And that was definitely tough because uh, just you're going into another team's environment all the time. So having these last five games with playoffs around the corner and at home, it's definitely going to help us a lot. And looking into playoffs, what are kind of the team goals for that? Um, our team goal right now is we want to get a home playoff game. So if we can get top four in the north, then we'll have our first playoff game at home and then hopefully advance on to the tournament. So I think that's where we're going to start. But um, obviously we got to take the season one practice at a time and then one game at a time. So. And then, Brennan, last but not least, through your short time at UMD, is there a favorite basketball memory that sticks out? Um, yeah, like you said, it's kind of been short, but um, I think the one that sticks out the most is before our Northern Michigan game, Coach Hockett gave a inspirational speech about like Navy SEALs and stuff. And um, like I'm not going to go into great detail because I don't remember all of it, but it definitely inspired us. And then we got the win, and uh, I think that makes the moment like that much more special. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So now, Bulldog Country, I'd like to get to know Brandon a little bit better. We're going to ask you a series of rapid-fire questions for you to answer to the best of your ability. Are you ready? Yep. If you could be any animal in the world, what animal would you choose and why? I would want to be a gorilla because it's always been my favorite animal, and I think that they're just like so huge and muscular. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Who is your favorite professional athlete? My favorite professional athlete is Kevin Durant. Definitely, I think that... Um, I like to watch him play the most. He's super exciting, and I like to try and make my game a little bit like his. What is your dream vacation destination? Um, that's hard. To, I got a couple, but I would say Greece. I think that it's just the pictures that you see is really beautiful. Are you a good dancer? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> is anybody on your team a good dancer? Um, yeah, Sean. Sean Burns is a pretty good dancer. <laughs> what is your favorite place to eat in Duluth? Um, Chipotle. Cheeseburger or pizza? Cheeseburger. Who is the funniest person you know? Uh, my best friend, Brennan French. And last but not least, if you were stranded on a deserted island and had to choose only one of your teammates to be stranded with, <laughs> who would you choose and why? Um, I think I would choose Luke Harris. I think he's a <laughs> pretty resourceful guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right.